Hello, and welcome to another episode of Scouting at Home. I'm Shanna Richardson. And my name is Brian Boyle. And today we're talking about popcorn. We have one of our top selling online units joining us today to talk about what they are doing that's making an impact. PAC 224, welcome to Scouting at Home. Tell us a little bit about your PAC and uh, how you guys got involved in scouting. Thank you for having us on. Uh, my name is Brandon Friedlander. I'm the committee chairman and one of the popcorn kernels for uh, PAC 224. I've been in scouting, well, I'm an Eagle Scout. And then I got my my uh, son into scouts. So I've been with the pack approximately five years. Our pack actually traditionally never sold popcorn. This is our first year doing it since I've been a part of the pack. Um, through the encouragement of Brian, we uh, took a chance and and uh, you know watched the uh, video that we had or the presentation. I'm sorry, the presentation that there was, and we decided we're going to give it a try. Do the online sales. So my particular uh, way we're doing the sales is all through social media. Um, I set my son's account up and we did social media. And then I also sent out a text message to my brother-in-laws and my brother. And that's the way my son has been doing the sales. He has had one sale when he's walked up to a friend that's come over to our house. Hi, my name is, and I'm selling popcorn. Would you like to support our pack? And they actually bought uh, popcorn that way. Hi. Hi, my name is Jessica. I have been with PAC 224 for three years, currently a den leader for now two years. Um, the way we are selling me and my son are selling popcorn is basically through networking. He will ask any of his friends, friends' parents. Social media has played a huge role in helping us sell the popcorn. We will share the link on our Facebook page. Even the Nextdoor app helps a lot. We have made door hangers that also explain that we are selling popcorn once we go door to door. Um, it says, sorry I miss you. My name is, I'm part of your Cub Scout Pack 224. COVID-19 has our annual popcorn fundraiser looking a lot different this year with us staying safe and obeying social distancing rules. If you would like to support us with a popcorn order, please go to trailsin.com and enter my scout code. If you'd like to know any other ways you can support us, please reach out to my pack leaders at our Facebook page or email us. Thank you in advance for your support. We leave these on the doors if they are not home. And we also have a small flyer that reiterates the same exact thing. For example, if they just choose not to purchase popcorn at the moment, they, we can give them this and they can go back and purchase popcorn. I think that's fantastic having the little door hanger. That's such a great idea, and it, it definitely uh, you know leaves an impression positively. You know, if if you had somebody who who stopped at a house and, and said, "Hey, uh, I wanted to to try to to you know sell popcorn, but you weren't home." I think that's a great thing to to leave something behind like that. Yeah, excellent work. So, as far as your social media sales, are there any tips or tricks you can share with our other units about how you're making that happen? I'll say for me, it's just been posting on social media. I actually also tag my wife and then um, I just renew the post every, like once a week, I'll go out there and kind of renew the post to bring it to the top of the, the timeline. Um, that's really all my trick that I've been doing. It's pretty simple. How has your experience so far with the popcorn being new to, the, to selling popcorn, how has this experience been different compared to other fundraisers that your unit has done? I'll, I'll give this a shot and then I'll let Jesse jump in as well. For me, it's been pretty simplistic. Uh, it's It was really easy to sign up on Trails End um, and then post or send out a, a text message. And and even doing an online sale, like I said, my son actually had one from a friend that came to the house and I was able to use the Trails End app and do an online sale from there. It was really seamless, very easy to use. Um, and the popcorn pretty much sells itself. I agree with Brandon. Um... Just being able to have the online sales has been amazing. We, you know, have been able to reach a lot more people that way than being able to just go door to door or face to face to be able to sell. The door hangers are such a phenomenal idea. Have you gotten a good response from those from the neighbors? As of now, we have not been able to go door to door. That was something we were planning on doing this weekend. So that one I will have to get back with you on. <laughs> I, if I could jump in here real quick, I did speak. So we, we had one of our other den leaders create the door hangers for us. And she said she's used them and they, they've helped her with some sales within her neighborhood. But the door hanger idea, like Jesse said, is really new 
do for us. And uh, this weekend, I think a few of us will, will give it a try. So earlier you mentioned using the Nextdoor app. For our viewers, the Nextdoor app is a very simple app you can pull up on your phone. You put your zip code in and it's sort of like Facebook just for your neighbors in your area that you live. So how are you using the Nextdoor app to increase your popcorn sales? I've been sharing the Charles Stan link for my son's popcorn sales on the Nextdoor app. So in hopes that our local area neighborhoods and communities will be able to see and if they don't have an actual cup scout in their own neighborhood maybe they can go through us would you have any any other suggestions for any units that may be uh, seasoned <laughs> to popcorn or uh, any any new newcomers to the popcorn sale do you have any tips for them um as far as new i would say like i said before we're new to popcorn sales. We, we, in the five years I've been with the pack, never done it. Um, uh, when I spoke to the Cub Master when I first started, he had mentioned somewhere along the way in our history, we overbought on popcorn and wiped out all the sales that they did. So there was always been hesitation. Um, this online sale version that we're going with is, is risk-free for the pack. So that's why we went with it. And we're seeing the results, just being able to sell. You know, we're, we're leading right now and we've only have six scouts selling. We're working on trying to increase the number of scouts signing up for the Trails End app and continue to sell, and we hope to be able to make our goal. So currently, shipping is free for the online popcorn sales. Is that making an impact on the, your ability to sell? Um, I, I, so I noticed with the with one sale, it actually increased the, the sale itself because the person who saw that, hey, I have to have a minimum. You know, at first it was, Hey, I thought shipping was free. Oh, wait, there's a minimum. Okay, let me buy one more extra item to push me over the edge. Uh, so I make the minimum and, and for the free shipping. So yeah, it didn't increase the sale. All right, do you guys have a message or any other insight you'd like to share with our scouts and scouters out there? Do your best. Go out, ask everyone, never be afraid. A scout is brave. Well, thank you, Pack 224 for joining us today. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Scouting at Home. Have a great scouting day.